It's so much fun to create your own gift bag. Let me show you how. I'm coming in here with my acrylic paint. I've got a wool sponge and I can just pick up some color on my palette and very easily just pat this around. So I've got a nice background color and you can make it colors of your choice. You could do it in purples or you could do it in violets. You might make it in red, white, and blue for the um, 4th of July picnic and whatnot. So as quickly as that, you've got a background to decorate and you could even do some little greeting cards in much the same way. Then to add an extra accent to it, I'll show you how to put on a couple flowers. So I can pick up my filbert brush. I've got my acrylics out here. And as you work with acrylics, keep a spray bottle handy and spray them often so that'll make them easy for you to work with. If you keep that spray bottle handy, you can work with them all day long. Just keep a spray them as frequently as you need to keep a nice working consistency. And I can come back in here and with that white paint, I'm going to take and make a couple daisies. So I just pull these back, pull towards the center, easy as can be. It makes for a fun, quick decoration on the gift tags as well. And as I'm coming on through, you, during the uh, fall season, instead of doing the white daisies, you might do it in brown tones and um, put on yellow daisies, pulling this right around. The right brush is important when you are creating flowers and all your painting. So it's important for you to think about when you're selecting brushes to try to do it with a good brush. Don't try to do it with one that doesn't have a point. This filbert makes perfect little petals. It's easy to work with. So I can put these on, making them all not come right forward, but some that look to the side as well. Then I come down, pick up a little bit of yellow and tap that right on in the center. So I can just tap it on with that cad yellow pale. And I'm gonna tap the centers in. And again, you can add as you're working different colors as you experiment with these. It's a great way as you're working to just kind of start to learn how to add color to what you're painting with your flowers. I picked up just a tiny bit of orange in there that makes them bright. And now a little green will put the perfect finish to them. So just pull down some stems and think of what a terrific little gift this would be. And you've got it so that you can wrap it all up and you've decorated it yourself. It makes it more special. You can also do this with just regular wrapping paper. And of course, when you use your greeting card, if you use a 185 pound greeting card and you can get those cards at your uh, craft stores, you'll find that it's really easy to make all sorts of special holiday wishes. Thanks for joining me and I hope you'll join me on public television.